To learn Python after scratch, we need to understand data types. So we're going to look at integers, strings and floats. So here's our scratch block with say hello for two seconds. In Python, that's the equivalent print with hello in quotes in brackets. So notice those quotes. In the next example, there aren't any quotes. There's no quotes. We've got say five for two seconds. So here we've got the five in the brackets after print. So hello had quotes and five does not. So what's the difference? Well, here you can see on the left we've got strings. These are text. So we've got hello, we've got John123, we've got 123456. These are in quotes, they're text. On the right there's numbers, integers. We've got 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 5, 0. These are numbers. So what does this mean? Well, when we look at language, we've got a sentence here saying, he said he would be late. It's a normal sentence. In this second example, we've got, he said, I will be late. And that's in double quotes. So the double quotes means that we're quoting someone. It's exactly what we see is what the person said. So the quotes mean literally what we see is going to be printed, for example. So here we've got phone number is 1234567. So those are digits, but we wouldn't really use phone numbers in maths. The second example, we've got number of visitors. So that's a count. So that would add one every time there's a visitor. So that's more of a number. So the phone number is not an integer, whereas number of visitors is an integer. So a phone number would be a string and then a number of visitors would be an integer. So let's have a look at Scratch. We use numbers all the time in Scratch. When we're moving, we have numbers and other blocks. When we say, we set numbers. Even in controls, we have things like repeat a number of times. If we change that to a string, a word, it wouldn't work. So when I typed in 1 or 10, it doesn't work because it needs a number. But is there a difference? Here's an example. Say hello for two seconds. It says hello for two seconds. What about if I say, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, is that a proper number? It could be, let's say, a phone number. So we have digits, such as a phone number, but we need numbers if we want to do maths, for example. So if we have a phone number, we can say our text or string, my phone number is 1234567, and that's what it will say but it doesn't do any maths. Now let's see another example. Here we've got say 12450, which it says. Now let's say we want to add one. If we add one, we put in a symbol for plus and one. When we say that, it says exactly that, 12450, the plus sign and one. It's not doing any maths, it's not a number. So we can use the operator and if we use this you'll see when we type out the same the same characters the same digits when we run that it says one two four five one one two four five one so there is a difference between the digits in this text a string the digits in this number this is an actual number you can do math with. This number is not. We can look in Python. For example, if we have a print statement and we print 5, 
that will print 5 as you would expect. Now let's try with the quotes. So that looks the same, but did you notice the first 5 hasn't got a different colour? The second 5 in the quotes is green. So there is a difference. Now let's try 5 plus 2. When we run that, return, print 7, so it's added the number. So let's try print and then the quote 5 plus 2 with the quote. We run that and it prints the characters 5, the plus symbol and a 2. So the number 5, the number 2, different without the quotes and with the quotes. The quotes mean it's a string. Without the quote, it's not a string. What about if we print 5 divided by 2? The answer 2.5. That's what you did expect. But is that an integer or a string? Well, it's not a string. It's not even an integer. Because there's a fraction, it's actually a floating point number. So that's not an integer. So let's show you that. If we say x equals 5, so we're creating a variable called x, and now that the value of x is 2.5. If I show you the type, we can put print and then type and it will tell us what type that x is. So we've got print type and it says class float. So float is short for floating point number. If I change x to 2 and now try to print, we're going to print type and then put x in the brackets again and you'll see it says class int, int short for integer. So now let's try x equals 2 but in the in the quotes and now when we print type x class equals string. Going back to scratch we can use variables. So here we can set x to 0 changing x by 1 will be just the same as x equals x plus 1 in Python. That's straightforward. Well, what happens if we set x to hello? We can do that in Scratch. But what happens when we try to change it by 1? Let's have a look. In Scratch, we can use variables. So we can create a variable. Let's call this x. Now x, as you see, we can set this to 0. But we could set it to a word, like what we call a string. Set x to hello. So instead of saying hello for two seconds, we can use the variable. So we run that, and it says hello. But what happens if we try to change x by one? So we set x, we say it for two seconds, and then change it by one. What will happen? We run it. It says hello, and then it says N-A-N, so there's this problem. It's not changing hello by one, because hello is not a number. We can do that in Python. So let's have x equals 2, x equals x plus 1, and now if we print x, straightforward. But if x equals something like hello, now when we do x equals x plus 1, you see it's got this error message. Notice it says can only concatenate strings, not integers to strings. What that's saying is, if we have something like hello, we can add 
another string to it. So we've got hello world. So we can add two numbers. We can't add a number to a string, but we can put two strings together in Python, and that's called concatenation. In Scratch, we would use join. OK, let's go back to our Scratch. Now we're going to create a variable. So we can create a variable, let's call it x, and set x to 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can say that. Say x two seconds, it says one, two, three, four. If we want to change x, we can add a number to x. One. Let's try this. One, two, three, five. So it does the maths. That's fine. What happens if we try for no, if we type in plus and some text, it doesn't work. So we have join. So if we had x and hello, now let's try it. It says one, two, three, four, hello. So plus only works with the number. If we want to use text, we can use join. So the text or a string is different than the number with a variable in Scratch. That brings us to the end of this video. When we look at Scratch controls, we have conditionals and loops. So look out for the next video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Goodbye for now.